Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, we can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. no, really. It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a terrible, like a terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. What's love got to do with it? Isn't it strange that I even have to ask? I got into a discussion with a neighbor of mine over the weekend with regards to relationships. She boldly declared that she couldn't date or marry a man who didn't have money. That she was looking for a man who would change her life like a Ned Woko. Well, for those of you that don't know who this fellow is, he is an ex-senator, I believe, who is married to a 21-year-old Regina Daniels, a Nollywood actress. A man who would pay her bills and take care of her. The lady in question is a law graduate, by the way. Abroad, such women are known as sugar babies. This is the reason Nigerian women are often called materialistic. This is not just peculiar to our women. There is an ever-increasing number of Nigerian men opting for this lifestyle. They only date wealthy women or have sugar mummies. Gone are the days when men took pride in being the protector and provider. Now they want to be kept by rich women who are only too willing to oblige. It seems love no longer has anything to do with who we date or marry. Money, on the other hand, does. As far as I'm concerned, those that partake in such relationships are nothing but prostitutes. Many marriages don't survive these days because they are based on money, not love. What we have now are people who are with each other for what they can get. And once that is no longer forthcoming, the relationship grinds to an immediate halt. What happened to building a life together? What happened to both contributing financially? I thought we women wanted equality. In what way does this advance the cause? What happened to love? It is time we stop looking to others to take care of us and our needs and instead dig deep to create our own wealth. Instead of wanting to enjoy the good life at someone else's expense and reap where we didn't sow, why don't we each develop ourselves to ensure we have something of value to bring to the relationship? Let love, not money, be the glue that binds our relationships together. Because love, as the saying goes, conquers all. Hmm. Including the love of money. Exactly. Oh, well, Maybe, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, to be, oh. to, be, to be quite, you know, I, I've always thought about this. To be quite fair, it is absolutely difficult not to be, not to, not to be lured by money, uh, not to want money, not to want enjoyment, mm. you know? So sometimes when I, I mean, I can almost say that, well, Uche, I don't think... <laughs> you yes, can advocate I this all you want. <laughs> yeah, you this thing is not going anywhere. I'm on the other side. I'm going of to the start camp. like that. You know, <laughs> yeah, that, that, I, I want to hear about it. Ba ba basically, mm. it, it's 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 not that's practical. It. It's an aphrodisiac. That's that's what, that's what money is. Money is an aphrodisiac. I mean, for, for, no, but, but I, let me even ask. It's very attractive. The, the, the things people are seeking through mm. money. Mm. This is my advocacy, and this right. is why I'm very happy with what we is saying. Mm. You'll get it times twenty if love is in place. So mm. for example, you're seeking security. <laughs> if somebody that loves you, believe it, you won't even have to say <laughs> anything. Without, They'll without be going money, over and above. Romantic. No, if somebody okay, loves no, 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 no. <laughs> let me, let me even, let me even make the point. Make if somebody point. loves you, they're already looking to give you more than what you mm -hmm. want. Be, uh, so it, it's just the means that may be constraining them. But make no mistake, once that person hits the jackpot, they'll go over and above. They're looking for how to impress you with money. <laughs> but if somebody, if you're doing it by contract, 
you won't get trust by contract. Mm -hmm. You won't get, you know, so that the certain things you, even when you have all the money, you'll still find that you have that vacuum. You know, so I can speak from experience and I, I sorry to use myself. I, I, I just have feel to say, free. you feel know, free. I feel that what has really made me the person I am is because I'm in a loving relationship. Mm -hmm. And that then allows that person to go. So a lot of times the person is going above and beyond and people are like, uh, they, they're looking at me like I'm a pampered person. But I know that the person's heart is to do anything they can. So I'm not having to beg for money. I'm not having to look for, I have access. I'm the, I call myself the chancellor of exchequer because I handle all the accounts. Mm. Well, so there's trust you there see, no. because the she person knows account. She has an account. No, all the accounts. Even, even when I wasn't working, <laughs> I handled all the accounts. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I wasn't going to the, there was I wasn't going into, there was money in the first place. I wasn't going into yeah. the relationship. No, even when we were, we were, you know, I remember when we started off, we were sleeping in the living room of my mother-in-law's flat. Mm. So at night we bring out our mattress. So he didn't have, we didn't have, he, we, he was doing you know, whatever he could do and I was doing whatever I could do. But we weren't marrying on the basis of if the money was in place. Mm. I know like even my wedding ring till today costs less than what people pay for transport. But it's, someone gave me on a voucher and that's how we got married. We're printing our own wedding invitation mm. things yes, on yes. our lap. You know, so we were, we were really, at, we started together like two children in a sense. And you know, so we were ready to go the distance. Money wasn't a prerequisite. So I always feel sorry when people put money before love because you get all the things you want with money and that vacuum will still be there. Mm. You can't buy the things you really want with money. That's, that's my bottom line. Mm. I suppose. Mm. I, yeah, look at mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. Yeah. So, 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 story so, is a romantic so, version. No, it is. What it really is. is. The reality it's a romantic is. Version the reality is. I mean, okay. I, I, really, look, oh, I, I, so. I love love. Yeah? I love and love. love. Yeah? love. Yeah? Exactly. I love love. Yeah. But the reality today is, and, uh, and um, <laughs> I'm just being real politic. The reality is that, you know, people are, you know, there's a lot of desperation. There's a lot of, um, let's put a scarcity of so many things within but the system. But will you let that affect your mindset? That scarcity um, mentality you advocated against? Yeah, so, so this is the thing though, and, 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 and that's why I'm saying it, because this is what I see. Mm -hmm. I see that people who, uh, you know, in a huge sense of deprivation, and the fact that money anywhere in the world is an attractive itself, as, as, as Chuka said, is an aphrodisiac of some sort. Mm -hmm. and, and people from time in memory have been attracted to, to powerful men or women with, with access to money and power. It's a mirage. It's, it's, it just happens. It is a mirage. It is some sort of a mirage, but it provides cold comfort yeah. at the time that it but is available. There'll be those so there's there. a meme in, in, on social media where young boys, uh, young men in Abuja, let me say young boys, Dress nice starch kaftans, white Mercedes, mm. and he has his, his suitcase in the in the trunk. He has nothing, nowhere else but that nice. Car. He that's might not his, have. That's his investment. Yeah, yeah that's his investment. He has invested in so looking, big, good. Some, looking good. Has a car. And he has a car, nice clean Mercedes mm. C three hundred. I think that's the model. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and he's he makes himself <laughs> available. Oh, yes. it's true. Yes, yeah, he makes himself available man. at places. Mm. Well, if you see him, Gucci belts, smelling nice, like smelling, investing the things that yeah. and he will blow you know oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i mean love is important in of a relationship course. but I, I i i believe that you know we are being coerced and you know influenced by yeah by, um, by well, yeah by the yeah. things yes <laughs> um but for look my advice to any young person yeah um follow love say did you believe in love mm. i do believe in love <laughs> but I think the love itself, well. it's, it's, um, it's relative, mm. you know, mm, it's, um, it's, you can define it in so many, so many forms. You know, there's the um, butterfly love, you know, that, yeah, it's, no, okay, not that. It's, it's not, love is sacrifice, love yes. is, is um, complete tolerance, love is like you shared the story, you shared trusting 100% mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in this person good or bad, and hoping that things will turn out well, you know. But for me, uh, with respect to what you share, what mm. we're talking about, um, I would want to take it back to family values again. How right. have you been raised? Okay. What are those things that you hold? Uh, in? Influencing your What choices? are the things mm. influencing mm. you? Mm. Now, if you come from a home where, just hypothetically saying now, um, a broken home or single parent home where there's so much pressure, you know, money-wise and things like that, there's a tendency that you'd gravitate in that direction, you know. So there's so many influences that, mm -hmm. you know, are beyond you, mm -hmm. subtle, some, you know, 
and some that you just find like the society that we are in today it's all about what you have mm -hmm. you know even within families yeah. you know the younger one that is wealthy is the one that's called to the table to take mm -hmm. decision Imagine. you know so it's Imagine. unfortunate mm -hmm. but true love as much as we'd like for it to trump you know money is still king Oh my goodness. Oh, Love, is <laughs> <laughs> Love is king. Love is king. Oh my goodness. You just broke my heart. That's a great round like Love that. Is king. Well done, Sadie. I was waiting for somebody to start. So for me, it's like the opposite somebody of Shuka's <laughs> advocacy. Because if you build up money, the foundation, that's why Nigeria is where it is. Yes. Because people still make money king. And I feel yeah. until you stop thinking like that, letting okay. external factors dictate your choices. Mm -hmm. You're not, you're in good, no, good I think, nowhere. I, I think to some extent what people do mm. is that they, they, they do want love, yes. But the love, has, the love has to be... With has security. To be, yeah. Has to be... Um, no, let me... Um, yeah, you'll be surprised. <laughs> um, the love has to be on certain terms. So um, you, you look for a certain kind of guy that, give that, 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 can, that you can love but has that security. Yeah, I mean, there's so nothing what's, wrong how with that, money. So you know what I'm I mean? There's some people, I mean, they don't fall for on somebody. No, but you know, that's why they say for better, for worse. Mm. Those things you're calling security today, mm. you have to be ready to factor in the fact that if they are not there, well, you, you happen, still remain. Mm -hmm. That's where the love no, then, now. that's right. where the love back is yeah. yeah. the love yeah. test. Okay, yeah. guys. Well, I know we can continue to debate this forever, right? When all is said and done, I'm inclined to believe that money me personally, not Seydu, <laughs> can't buy love. Yeah, right on, sister. <laughs> Thank you. Ekenes speaks to reversing a perverse phenomenon after the break. Stay tuned.